I'm talking to Adrian Houston, tax consultant, about further information on the amnesty for offshore money. Adrian, who should be watching this video? Well, Bill, the people that should be watching this video are anybody who has or used to have bank accounts or other assets uh, offshore who haven't paid enough UK tax on them. It may have been on the purchase of the asset or the lodgement of money to a bank account or it could be bank interest that they've been receiving for a number of years. Typically, these are actually people in their 60s and 70s who haven't touched the money for many years. Adrian, uh, who should be watching this video? Well, Bill, this, this video is really for anyone who has a, an asset or a bank account offshore or did have and didn't pay enough UK tax on it. And most typically that would be people who have bank accounts offshore in the likes of the Isle of Man, Jersey, Switzerland, etc. But it would also affect people who haven't told HMRC that they let out a property in France or Spain, for example. What sort of things are covered by the amnesty? It, it primarily covers offshore assets and the most common one would be bank accounts. But it could also be, for instance, a yacht that you have moored in the south of France that you didn't pay tax on when you, when you got the money. You, you, you got £100,000 from something, you didn't declare that £100,000 and you went and bought a yacht with it. So that's an asset. It may not be generating any income, but there's a UK tax loss and that's why HMRC want to hear from it. Is the person guaranteed that they won't have an in-depth tax investigation? Sadly, they're not guaranteed that they will have a, a quiet life and no investigation. But we handled an awful lot of these cases when there was a previous amnesty in 2007. And uh, in, in that case, I think only one person ended up having detailed questions asked about their disclosure. The rest uh, just waited a few months and got a letter from the revenue saying, your offer of, of money has been accepted and the case is closed. What happens if they owe money uh, as a result of a UK based activities, uh, for instance, a rental house? Right. Well, the key thing there would be whether they also owe money in respect of something offshore. If they owe money in respect of something offshore and have something in the UK, like a, a rental house or whatever, then they can avail of this opportunity and they can sweep it all up in the one thing. And it's a very neat way of tidying things up and putting your house in order. If the only thing they owe is in connection with UK assets or savings, then they cannot use this facility, but they still need to think about contacting the revenue to make a clean sheet of it. But this facility would not actually be for them. What are the deadlines for action in this case, please? The main deadline is the 30th of November 2009. By that date, you or your accountant must have contacted the revenue and said, we may have something to tell you. That's done either online or on paper, and it then simply holds the door open for you to make a full disclosure and those disclosures have deadlines to be finished by uh, end of January and there's another one in March but most people would aim to get it knocked in the head in January to minimise the interest the revenue would be seeking. What happens if the person can't afford to pay the tax? Sadly this is the case in some cases where maybe the person has fallen on hard times and has eaten up those savings or spent them. Um, in that case, they still need to avail of this opportunity to register and declare it. Because if they don't, they'll, they would still end up with a tax investigation. They would still end up having negotiations with the revenue about how to pay the money. So better to get it out of the way and have the low penalty applied. And if there's a problem with coming up with the money to pay the revenue, they get their accountant to speak to the revenue and hopefully a way around that can be got. Uh, but as I say, to be silent would not do themselves any favours. What happens if the person simply can't afford to pay the tax? Sadly, this is sometimes the case. It's particularly likely if the person has spent a lot of the money that they had offshore. Um, the main thing they need to do is they must still avail of this opportunity. Because if they don't avail of this opportunity and the revenue finds them once the end of November comes, uh, then they will still have a tax investigation, except it will be a bigger one. They'll still have tax liabilities and they'll still have to fight with the revenue about whether they can pay it. So the main thing is to establish, have I something to tell the revenue? Let's tell them it. And your accountant or tax advisor will speak to the revenue about the fact that there's a problem with paying the bill. And there may be ways around that. Uh, uh, ultimately, that's uh, 
a more complicated matter for another day. What should they do now? What they should do now is have a think as to whether there may be something in their past which has an offshore connection where they haven't paid enough UK tax. If that's the case, they should either speak to a tax advisor or go to the Revenues website and register online for what is called the New Disclosure Opportunity. And they must do that by the 30th of November 2009 or they aren't in it. Thank you very much, Adrian Houston.